What we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk down a few rows of cacao that we've planted. Everything's in this entire, I think there's maybe 40 trees planted, is the same age. And you're gonna see the differences in genetics, just like if you have siblings, one might have blue eyes, one might have brown eyes. So that's what this is gonna look like, as well as some are taller, some are shorter. But these rows right here, in particular, are doing really well, and some of the ones over are not doing well at all. So let's go ahead and walk through. So we, we have um, some kind of this orangey red pods here, the sunrise color, and then right next to it, it's much shorter, but the tree's still loaded. And so I, these are all around two and a half or three years old. But this is what an orchard should look like, and this orchard has been beat up. It's been heavily um, hit by wind and floods, and it's still doing really well. And so this is why it's important to know what you're planting. You don't wanna just plant anything. You wanna know that it's gonna taste good, and you also wanna know that it's gonna fruit well. And so look at this guy. I mean, if you're two and a half or three, that's a lot of pods on the tree. So we're about to harvest this today, and these, these um, orchards, and see what we're gonna get. And so this is another one. You can see these are very similar. You can look at the ridges, you can look at the color. This guy had a papaya tree fall right in the middle of it, but this was one of the biggest ones in the orchard. And it's coming back pretty well. Still got some fruit on it. This guy, we already har we actually dropped, you can see on the ground, we dropped a whole bunch of fruit because it was bearing so much that it was uh, gonna stunt it and potentially harm the tree. So we dropped a whole bunch of fruit off of it. We had to prune it because it was getting too tall. It's growing too vigorously. And we're trying to keep it under control, but at three years old, this is a, a beast of a tree. It was <laughs> until we pruned it. So now we got this one, I think is the last one in this row. And so you can just see this entire row produced really well. Then if we come over down this row, this is a different variety. But once again, we only know one parent. And so this guy, for whatever reason, has no fruit. But then it's siblings. This guy is loaded, very pretty. I love these colors. Quite a few. These guys are also a little more exposed to the wind, but it doesn't seem like it's affecting them much. See, this guy's a bit overloaded. We gotta take some, some fruit off of that right away. We got a chupon here. You don't want these guys. You always want to clip those off as flush to the tree as you can. And then this guy, which is really small, but it's also just loaded. So it shouldn't have this much fruit on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take some off right now. It's way too many pods on this tree. And you can't feel bad about doing this because I'd rather get significantly more fruit next year than this year. I'd rather the tree put energy into growing This one, there we go. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. All right, so now let's go walk down one more row. Let's squeeze in between here. And you can see the canopy is starting to close. And so as soon as it does that, I'm gonna end up taking out a lot of the understory branches and then it'll, it'll be much easier to just walk straight through. And so the fastest way to harvest is if you're not trying to duck all the time like that, you just walk through, you're able to clip the pods really quick. You can see this one, this is too high. It's jorketed. A jorket is when it it's branches off into multiple um, branches. Too high. So by the time this is five years old, it's going to be way up here. And that's gonna, you're going to be reaching up like that. It's just no good. So you can see all of this row are the same genetics. There's pretty much no fruit on any of them. And they're all the same age as the other two previous rows. This guy might be different as well, hard to say. And then, uh, see, no, no fruit here, but this in particular is, is a grafted tree. And you can see grafted trees, it's fruiting way lower and it's got way more branches. So instead of just one trunk, it's got multiple solid large trunks that it can support a lot of fruit and weight. And so this is why you, you usually get a lot more fruit on grafted trees. So this is a grafted tree and yeah, it's doing really well. It's still very low and it's also very young, but in a few years from now, all of these will be about your chest level so that it'll be very easy to harvest. So that's what we're thinking as we plant more and more because there's a lot of the, the economics that come into play for us, which are bigger factors than in more third world countries. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. 
we're gonna this is another chupon and they always do this especially after you do a big pruning you always get quite a bit of shirelles uh, chupons coming out and then you just clip them off just like that you want the energy to go into the tree and then you can see lots of little branches like this you just want to take those off because it's going to become difficult to harvest anything inside it just cleans up really quickly It's already better. Inner branches here. Okay, we'll leave it alone for right now since it's got some fruit on it. But this is our smallest, or one of our youngest orchards and it's doing really well overall despite the amount of wind we've had. That's pretty much been our biggest, I don't know, pest. Our, our pests in Hawaii are rose beetles when they're super young, which are the little beetles and they'll eat holes in the leaves. If you look here, you can see all these little holes right in the leaf. That's from the rose beetles eating them when they're kind of younger and soft. It's not such a big deal once the trees are this size, they can handle it. Right, so what we did is we just walked a small sample orchard. The main point of this one is just to see what's doing well so that we know in the future what to plant. So we're gonna take scion, which is like a scion would be, if I were to take this right here, cut the leaves off, I could then graft this onto a future tree, uh, a seedling, and know exactly what I'm going to get. And so that's what this orchard, this small orchard, is going to be. And mainly the first two rows that we saw over there. So now we'll be testing them more for flavor. In fact, the stuff that we ferment now, we're going to keep it separated. We're going to put it in little mesh bags, and we're going to see what the fruity flavors or nutty flavors or spicy notes are going to come out of it. So very exciting still very uh, early in the infancy of the Hawaiian cacao industry. But this is how we're going to develop some of the best flavors in the world on the growing side.